Hey everybody, this is John coming to you from my house in Georgia. And right here on the wall is a train branded Honeywell programmable touchscreen thermostat that has served us very well for quite a few years now. But for a little bit of exploration, because I'm a little bit nerdy, I'm gonna go ahead and uninstall this guy. And we are going to do an Ecobee 3 thermostat install and see how that goes. Stick around. The first thing I would say to do is to turn the system off on the thermostat. I would now look for breakers on the actual unit. This is the uh, air handler unit inside my house. I'm going to flick those. And just to be safe, I'm going to find the HVAC unit that's rated for um, the appropriate unit in my house. And I'm going to throw these breakers too. This unit is battery powered, so it still lights up on touch, but there's no power now, and I'm just gonna peel this guy off the wall. Be gentle with these. They're not always so easily removable. A couple things first. Before I did anything else, I would advise you to go get the right tools, like perhaps a pair of needle nose pliers, um, some fine uh, size screwdrivers, in particular, find flat heads that fit for the uninstallation. The other thing I would highly recommend is that you very, very clearly take a picture of how your wires are put into this previous bracket of your thermostat. I'm gonna take some time and use the labels that came in my Ecobee. So this way, if we ever change it out, I still have the labels, but I'm gonna pull each of these out and use these and get them labeled nicely. Let's start with red. All right, now all my wires are labeled. Note that there was a shunt here um, between white one and X2, and that may come into play a little bit later. For now, I'm gonna use my, therm my screwdriver, and uh, note that the bezel on this guy is curved. And so, when I was trying to install this before, it was a real pain because Trying to level it was really hard. All right, and now I'm simply going to pull this bracket right off the wall. And uh, you can see where the guy who did the wiring just knocked a hole in it. And these are just screwed right directly into the drywall. Um, so now we're going to just look and see if the other one will cover it. This is the uh, standard bezel that the Ecobee comes connected to. So let's just see for a second. I'm gonna pop out this center piece, which has a level in it. I'm gonna slide it on to see if it would cover everything. And um, the issue is that if you're looking from either side, it actually does not cover one of the screw holes. And by not much. So hold on a second. But if I put this guy up, it covers it really, really clearly. So we'll go ahead and use this guy. After a little bit of work, what I've decided I'm going to do when you push this through is you can see that big hole from the original installer of the HVAC handler. Um, I'm gonna try to put one up high enough where it's in there and then I'm gonna drive all the way through to the wood piece of wood that's behind all this, which was, I presume, exactly for this purpose. So I'm gonna use one through the drywall all the way through and one just to the, to the wood to hold it in place, and then we'll begin the wiring. So perhaps you can see that I made a little bit of a mark where I wanna put it. I found a drill bit that's about the right size. 
and I just made a mark there. Just enough so uh, we can come in there and we can tap it out with the other one. We can set this up, screw it in, and tap it together. I'm going to slide this back on, leave it, find my hole right there. Grab my drill and set it not as a drill so it clutches out really easy in case I do something stupid. So I'm going to put it back in, find my hole. As a whole, I'm very, I'm very jittery using this guy to do all of that. Now I'm going to use my other screw. And about the time I've got that leveled, and it looks fairly level, I'm going to put it right dead center. And I'm just going to so after a little bit of work. What you can see is that the level built into the bezel, hopefully you can see that, oops, I'm going to zoom in just a bit, the level as set in the bezel can be adjusted to be really, really level. And there it is. So I'm going to take a second and just tighten everything back down. All right, so we've got the bezel on, everything is tightened down, and now is the time to start putting wires in their respective spots. According to the installation manual, I can absolutely put um, the red, and I'm gonna push my stuff back a little bit. I can put the red in either the red or the red H. So I'm gonna push this little piece down and just insert it. Done, nice. All right, now I'm gonna take the one that is the C, I believe is the C, and I'm also going to do something very similar. I'm going to pop the clip and just slide it in there and hope that nothing breaks. I'm going to take my pliers and just straighten out the edge a bit, and then hit the clip. See, slides right on in the same way. Okay, next we have to get to yellow. Um, yellow one is on the other side. Boy, C seems to be a little bit loose now, doesn't it? Okay, now it's pretty tight. Yellow is on this side. So in a very, very similar manner, I'm going to take yellow and then push this guy in, hit the clip, that slides right on in. All right, I still have orange, green, and white. All right, well, okay. Um, and then all that remains are white and orange. Well, orange was down here. And apparently, if you just push it in, it will click itself into place. And hold on. And then white remains. Red's in. Common is in, and all these other ones seem to be in, except for my white. And actually, how about yellow? Yellow is in. Oh, look at that. What I don't want to do is I don't want to cross these wires. Kind of like cross contamination in the kitchen. All right, so you hear that click, and then when you hear that, everything seems to be in 
or not. And I'm just gonna make sure that the bezel is level. Push all this stuff kind of down and back in. All right, well here is the moment of truth. I've done the wiring. We're gonna plug it in and push it in. Hi, all right, well, good deal. Hey everyone, um, so here I am next to my Ecobee 3, now firmly mounted and positioned. Um, we haven't done anything yet with the additional sensor, we just have this guy here. Now, um, if you were to look at a clock, it's really taken me right at an hour and 10 minutes, and that involves all the cameras, all the tinkering, everything to do with making this video. If you weren't worried about any of that, this probably could have all happened in about an hour, maybe even 45 minutes, especially if you knew what was going on with all of your wiring. So here we are, we've installed an Eco B3 in roughly one hour. And um, I've talked about all the tools that you need, except for the fact that I needed a drill. So um, you need a pair of pliers, some screwdrivers, and a drill. And then on top of that, you can do this. So um, here I am with my Eco B3. I'll be talking to you about it, I'll be writing about it a little bit. I hope you have a wonderful experience with yours if you're doing this. Let me know um, any problems you had and I'll try to be helpful. If you like what you watch, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, like the video, ask questions. Thanks.